Welcome to Easy Turn Express. Here in this video I'm going to show you how to create geometry all the way on up to posting G-code. So let us begin. Go ahead and stop the video for a moment, just hit pause, and print your screen. You can hit the print screen key on your keyboard and open it up in Microsoft Paint and print yourself a paper copy so you can follow along as we create the geometry for this part. There are many ways to create geometry. I'm going to mostly use vertical infinite lines and horizontal uh, representing the Z location and the diameter. So let's start off by creating a boundary in the front face and the center line. So we're going to click on the face, make sure Z, X, and A are zero. Then we're making a center line here, again, all zeros. You can even trim at this point if you'd like. I'm going to use line at an angle. We're coming off the face. And we're going to a Z location of negative 0.41. And it's a calculator. We're going in another negative 0.6. Now there's an offset, so we go to offset, and we're going to offset by 0.2, which is typical. We can do that again over here to make our copies. So between here and here should be 0.41, so let's just verify that. We can go to dimensions. And we are at 0.41, so everything is, it checks out. Uh, the starting OD is going to be 0.65, so we'll go line at an angle again. The X is going to be 0.65. The depth of our flute in section A is going to be 20,000, so we're going to offset by 0.02. Zoom in and line at an angle. From the vertical line, we have 30 degrees. So let's go negative 30. We can trim to make things less complicated. Okay, now there's no angle specified, but we know that we gave it the proper angle diameters and offset, so we're going to go with the line at two points, snap to all from the top. Now that gives us the three. Now from point four one is actually a 45 degree angle. So let's trim that. Let's change this to a... This diameter changes. And the diameter here is 0.64. So now we go with a 45 degree, negative 45. Right, so now our land is going to be offset of 0.13 and from this diameter we're coming down at a 4 degree taper. So line at an angle, 4 degree. starting to take shape. Now we have a 20 thousandths fillet in the corner. There's also a 15 thousandths radius which is typical. So we're going to add that. We can zoom in with the scroll wheel. Okay, so now we work on the back end. Let's go with a uh, line at an angle. 
and then we'll use the offset and the offset is going to be 0.06 negative 1.85 the angle puts in a diameter value the offset puts in a radial value so you would have to or so you'd have to take the diameter and divide by 2 that's why you see me using line at an angle quite a bit so the line at an angle that's going to be a diameter of 0.78 then 0.880 and a chamfer 0.02 we'll extend there's a five degree taper I missed one flaw we're gonna come up to a one inch diameter so line at an angle come over here to X of one inch then we're going to trim and extend and we're moving this line up we can remove the closest I'll just snap the screen that shows you a little bit of power there and just take the X and go down to zero if I knew the exact length of the part I could add that in there at this time and that completes the geometry for this file for machining purposes I'm going to do something a little bit different we're going to extend extend here and let's extend this line straight across because of the different diameter so let's come back here snap to two points actually we'll turn the hub so let's back that up a little bit step we'll create a turn operation the yellow region is rough material so let's call this rough change our insert to maybe a 15 thousandths radius this would be 15 in case you're wondering what these fields represent if you look in the graphics uh, with a value of zero you'd be programming your tooltip uh, from the center of the radius so that's fine for cutter, cutter comp but not when you're trying to do regular turning so the values here have to be the same as your radius we'll leave a finish allowance withdraw angle so when I come to the end here I'm withdrawing at 45 degrees withdraw length before it rapids and the depth of each pass we'll use constant surface speed we'll use units per rev if you have any questions about what an undercut check is just simply select that uh, little checkbox and it modifies the path based on the back side of the insert so I didn't have to extend this line it could have traveled down at an angle but we're just going to do it nice and smooth so now we go to path and I want to use curve arc move I'm going to step telling it what I want to use for a path so we'll go right around delete last Come back to arc move. And we'll verify our toolpath. Now if I want to rough over the OD, what I can do is I could have either put a tail on here and came straight up and that would have created a boundary or I can go into the operation itself 
change the stock curve to manual and the outer diameter let's add a hundred thousands so it knows there's an extra hundred thousands of material to remove Okay, now we'll cut it to size, so we'll go back to work step, and the thin pencil line is a finish pass. It can be either a bore or an OD. Let's take off our finish allowance. The engage angle, so 90 degrees, as you can see, let's see, draft angle we want to come on at zero degrees I'll use the same tool and rather than create the path again I can just go to path copy path and verify so now what we need to do is we need to do a back turn and we need to do the groove so we're going to have to create a special path for the back turning. We'll select the tool from our library. arc move. I could hide the path, the existing uh, rough and finish. Zoom right in here. I just want to point out we started our curve here and we worked our way down so I want the tool on the left hand side so just to go back in and recap uh, it is on the left we'll verify the tool path now let's say I want to show the tool we'll go into post show tool that's actually an icon over here as well Let's do a 3D preview, a 3D simulation of the part so far. Looking good. Now all we have to do is apply our groove. Groove is also rough and finish. Rough and finish. I'm going to start here, go down. So I want my tool on the right hand side. Step over is very important. Let's go with 50% of the width of the tool. Uh, 118 is too big, and I think it's like 70,000, so we'll go with an 0625. Tool number three. Create our path. verify and if you want you can single step the step mode you just hit the enter key on your keyboard you can hold it down to simulate faster do a 3d preview now the keys on your keyboard 0 through 9 0 pauses the simulation 9 would be the fastest so let's escape this. Let's turn off step mode. So if I catch it, let's. If you can't catch it with the keys on the keyboard, you can just go into the stock setup and then slow the speed down and go from there. So that concludes that. Let's go to G for G code. Pick your post processor. 
Uh, you can use line numbers. The G code is a listing uh, toolpath. It would just simulate like we did with the wireframe. Simulate will do the 3D preview and these will output your code really fast. The G code just scrolls the G code in a window just like that and that part is now complete. Um, we want to thank you for watching. If you have any questions you can call 508-347-3222. Thank you.